Another very important one is for chronic diseases. We're going to be doing some Tai Chi ruler. This I consider to be one of the fundamental Qigong, or it's called Proto Tai Chi. So for this, you want to make sure that once again, your foot is one half a foot forward. You have some space in between your, back, your two back heels before you take your half a step. Then you put all your weight forward and you're going to bend your front knee. And your back foot's going to be at a 45 degree angle. And it's very important to have your belly button not to the side, but to turn it around so it's parallel with the front leg. Now go backwards. So you may need to make sure that your back foot is 45 degrees. Some of you are like this. And if you're like this, when you go back, your quad isn't going to open. So the quad is the inguinal crease. So this is 45 degrees. And so now I'm going forward and backwards. It's important that the back knee is bent. I don't want to be like this. Okay, so we're going to integrate this with hand movements now. So let's just stop here. And at this point right here, you want to make sure that your back isn't broken. See like this? I don't want to be like this. I want to be here in my inguinal crease coming in like this. That will open up the back and the two palms are facing towards each other. So I go down, breathing out, and breathing in. Good. And you don't want you to be tight in your shoulders here, so you don't want to be like that. You want to have a little space in your bird's nest, in your armpits. Breathing out and in, and you can switch legs. Breathing in and out. So you're letting go, and you're taking in. Letting go of the fresh, letting go of the stale, and taking in the fresh. See how you're taking in the fresh, letting go of the stale. Now this is very good for chronic diseases or for trauma. It's a very helpful way, you know, to be letting go of things and to re-energize yourself. Bessel van der Kock, the person I was talking about before, uh, he uses my uh, Body Mind Healing Qigong DVD for the training of trauma patients. Um, and initially he was using model mugging and other kinds of things, and I talked to him about the importance of Qigong and re-empowering people that are victims of crime or whatever in a way that's not going to take their power away. Now this is a very sophisticated method, even though it looks very simple. First, it's a great way to relax and to let go, right? But there's a lot of deeper secrets in it. Let me show you one. For example, normally, let's say somebody's going to come over and punch you. You're going to see how my energy is rising up and I'm broken in my back. That's what happens energetically when you get a sympathetic fear response. What this is doing is it's taking the sympathetic nervous fear response and see how I'm letting my chi rise. I'm letting the energy in my fear response rise. But right at this point, I'm opening up the lower back. And I'm opening here. So really, I'm in my power at this point. Two palms are facing each other. And then you're letting go of it. So, and you don't want to be over the front of your, your knee. You don't want to be up too far. So you're coming up like this, and then back down. The other thing is I want you to put your hand on your lower back, like that. And then I want you to just keep your front foot down, and then lift up your front toes. You see how what that's doing is activating? This is called the Ming Men. This is the Dantian, the belly. The new man is the back. So what happens is that this fills out when you're going like this. So this is what's bringing you into a place of power back there as you're lifting that toe up. So it's a very simple yet very sophisticated way to give patients or yourself the reversal of the sympathetic nervous system fight-flight response and to turn into it a parasympathetic relaxation in your body as you're breathing and letting go. So you can see that there's a lot of really great secrets in Qigong that can add a lot to our work with trauma um, and other kinds of behavioral health care methods.